Namaste. How's it going? Apana Vayu and the Udana Vayu. Yeah, so we have yeah, a number of energetic forces flowing through a system. And there are like five main ones. Apana in the hips, Samana in the core region, Vyana around the chest, Udana around the throat, and then the totality is the Prana Vayu. All right. Now, I will be giving more importance on the two stated ones, Apana and Udia, or Udana, because these are yeah, opposite forces. Apana value has its natural downward flow to assist our elimination functions, our sexual functions, yeah, those kind of things. And the Apana value yeah, goes heavy as we age, because that's just nature. Yeah, as we age, we lose the ability to lift our energies up. Yeah, that's the tax of nature. All right. Udana Vayu, on the other hand, has its natural way of rising. All right. So what is the relation? So for me, as we yeah, experience or pay in the tax of nature is uh, aging, yeah, we need to take care and then promote yeah, a healthy Udana function because that will assist the Apana Vayu in lifting up. That, of course, the other systems as well would have to be developed and rejuvenated. All right, so when it comes to Apana Vayu, um, moderation is the key. Right. And then let's, let me talk about diet. Right. I'm not a proponent of a particular diet. I'm not a vegetarian myself, but I promote or I recommend you to consume less of the heavy ones. Yeah, because if you consume heavy food, oily food, fatty food, you know, alcohol, yeah, those are really hard to digest and absorb, and therefore you are depleting yeah, much of your apana value. Yeah, and you're going to feel heavy, yeah, stuck, yeah, and then this gravitational yeah, force yeah, adding to the pressure, yeah, and that will really help your system, vital system. All right. Inverted post postures, right? Inverted postures are positions where uh, the legs are higher than the heart, the head is uh, lower than the heart. Yeah, what are these? For example, you don't have to do really yeah, complicated ones. <laughs> legs up in the air, legs against the, a chair or the wall. Yeah, the Viparita Karani. If you're doing, like, for example, um, the Viparita Karani uh, Hatha Yoga with the legs and the hips up in the air, head stands, those kind of things, but for general, legs up against the wall, or you can just do this, a downward facing dog, and then just breathing through it in the process. And that assists our yeah, energy from falling. Yeah. What else? Yeah. Lymphatic system, yeah, because the lymphatic system has its natural way of rising. And then when the lymphatic system is healthy, yeah, therefore it brings with it the apana value, yeah, rising up. Yeah, then so generally lymphatic system, you have to take care of what? Your health in general, yeah, strengthen your immune system, yeah, through what? Yeah. Uh, lifestyle changes. If you're a smoker, stop smoking. If you are a heavy drinker, you limit your consumption of alcohol, sleep properly, eat on time, what else? Reduce your mental stress because all of this will hurt your lymphatic system. And of course, um, uh, antioxidants will help. There are some people, yeah, they do lots and lots of like, uh, they take lots of vitamins um, and even laxative. Um, I don't take any supplements at all. Now, my diet, my, the way I manage my uh, health is through natural methods. Yes, and it's uh, working for me. Yes, so uh, I'm not taking any vitamins or supplements. I gather and, and then uh, get my nutrients from natural ingredients. Yes, a lemon tea in the morning, yeah, I would do that. Yeah, a cup of coffee. Yeah, will help me rejuvenate my system. And of course, observance of proper diet. Yeah, eat on time, and then prevent or avoid eating too late at night because at night time you're not you're not using the food anyway. And then during night is where we rejuvenate the system. So as much as possible, we keep our bodies empty during the night time. All right. So pranayama. 
Yeah, pranayama, then adishodana, yeah, is a general practice, a safe one, but a really effective one in balancing the right and the left side of the nostrils. Because at the end of the day, yeah, the, the pathway of the breath. Yeah, the breath is the main, I say, um, vehicle. You know, for the energetic forces to flow through. If the breath is stopped, if the nostrils are stuck, are blocked, then the energy won't be able to flow through. And in speaking of the Udana Vayu, the, the throat, yeah, so if you are a smoker, stop smoking. Chanting will help you, you know, stimulate your vocal cords. Yeah. Ma Pranayama, the Kapalabhati, <laughs> those are the techniques you can yeah, practice to maintain the health of your Udana Udana value function. Yeah, especially chanting. Chanting really helps us vocalize and release stagnation in the throat region. Yes, yeah, so you know, for me, managing uh, our energetic forces is not just about doing yoga on the mat. Yeah, the, uh, the off the mat observances are actually as important yeah, as the mudras and the asanas and the pranayamas we um, do in yoga. Yeah. And then this lifestyle uh, changes would have to be done you know, sustainably. You, know, you just don't want you, you just don't wake up in the morning and say, "Oh, I'll stop smoking. Oh, I'll stop drinking. Oh, I'll stop this diet and so and so and so. And you have to progress it, you have to approach it really slowly so you can sustain the practice. And, and yeah, um, it may also mean, yeah. You know, changing the way we relate to uh, our community, our circles in general. Because Hatha Yoga mentions like there are like five hindrances to, to attaining high spiritual state. And one of uh, those five is actually yeah, moderation diet. And another one is the company of others. So if we are surrounded with supported people, people who share the same principles yeah, off and on the mat, then yeah, it's easy for us to adapt these changes in our lives as well. Good. I'll catch you in the next one, and have a lovely day. See you.